He joins us from London. James, you have received backing from a long list of very famous names, just a few. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jackie Chan, Novak Djokovic, Chris Paul. They're all producers on this documentary. What drew them to this particular project? Well, I think there's a mixture of incentives. I mean, some of them are interested in health, some are in performance, and some are interested because of the environmental impacts of meat consumption. Um, but it's very clear that you're going to get benefits both for athletic performance and for health, which is the focus of this documentary. You use the term plant-based instead of vegan. Why is that? Why plant-based as the specific terminology? Well, I mean, first of all, I think veganism is a little bit stigmatized. You sort of think of the tree-hugging, long-haired hippie, right? Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, um, but that didn't really fit well with me. And also, we're not trying to say you've got to go 100% vegan, right? So plant-based, it's just better to shift and eat, get more of your calories from plants. That's what the evidence shows. As you were shooting your documentary, what did you find most surprising? What were you expecting that you stumbled upon in your journey? So I originally got injured um, and started researching the optimal uh, diet for recovery and performance and came across a study about the Roman gladiators. Uh, scientists analyzed the bones and could tell they were eating almost exclusively, if not completely, plants. And that just blew my mind. So I really started digging into it. And the biggest thing that I learned is that all protein originates from plants and animals are just the middlemen. So Cam Newton, as we just said, is a new convert, but the Charlotte Observer quoted several nutritionists and dietitians who think his diet may be preventing his body from recovering from injury. They were claiming that he's quote unquote calorie deficient because he's losing weight. What is your response to that type of thinking? Yeah, it's funny when someone's plant-based, if they're not having a good season or they're not playing well, of course, it's the plant-based diet. But you know, if LeBron gets injured, it's nothing to do with his diet at all, right? So. Uh, people, you know, those people also believe in the myth that you need animal protein and meat to be strong and healthy. But clearly, there's many world-class athletes performing on a plant-based diet and doing better than they did before. So it's just a complete myth. Well, there, there are some athletes who have no problems transitioning to plant-based diets. Others do struggle. There are tales of particularly large linebacker type guys who have to worry about their muscle strength, their caloric intake. What is your advice to athletes who do have trouble retaining weight and muscle mass when they try out a vegan diet, whether they be professional or just you know somebody at home trying to, trying to be as good as they can possibly be? Yeah, well, you talked about the defensive line. I mean, we had 14 members of the Tennessee Titans on the defensive line go plant-based. They had their best season in 15 years, first time they made it to the playoffs. So the people that I'm talking to are really having no problem keeping on their muscle mass. But the main thing is just eating enough calories and, you know, being cognizant, making sure you're um, getting enough protein. For most people, that's really not an issue. If you're an elite athlete, make sure you're eating lots of legumes, so beans, peas, lentils, nuts and seeds. And of course, it's easy to switch out the whey protein powder that you're eating for a plant-based one or for the, the dairy milk for a plant-based milk. So there's lots of easy switches and it's really no problem at all um, to get all the calories and protein you need on a plant-based diet. Okay, so if you've never done this kind of diet before, you grew up on your steak and your chicken and your hot dogs, how do you get into this? Do you just go cold turkey and you go straight to just plants or do you suggest easing into it? Well, I think for some people, they like to jump into it overnight, and I think that's a smaller percentage. Uh, most people, it's better to sort of incorporate it gradually, maybe one meal a day, for example. And that's why we've put sort of tips and uh, recipes on the website, GameChangersMovie.com, so that people can learn how to make that transition effectively. Well, James, thank you so much. We know you are in London, and there is a time change there. We appreciate you making the time for us. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.